Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now in today's video I've got a very interesting product to show you all. It's a selfie stick with a gimbal. Now in the past I've seen a lot of gimbals but I've never seen a gimbal that works as a selfie stick. You can literally extend this gimbal and use it like a selfie stick guys. Plus it also provides all the functions of a gimbal. It's got a lot of different gimbal modes like pan follow, lock mode and even full follow mode. And along with that you can also fully control your smartphone with this handle. You've got a control panel over here, you've got a 4-way navigational joystick on it, a zoom control, record button and even bluetooth shutter. It's got lots of different awesome features which I'll tell you in this video. Plus the biggest thing is it comes in your budget, it's very affordable guys. So let's get started with the video. So the selfie stick gimbal that we're gonna check out today is Fiutex Wimble 2. It comes in this sort of box packing. You've got the pictures of this gimbal on the box. As you can see it comes in different colors. I've got the standard black color model. That's it there's nothing much written on the box. Let's get started with the unboxing. I wanna thank TomTop for sending me this product for review. So in the box we have a hard shell carry case. I guess the gimbal is inside this case. Wow the quality of this carry case looks really nice. You've got the Fiutex branding on the front. And the case looks strong and durable. There's also a handle at the top so you can easily carry it anywhere. Ok let's open the case and check out the product. So here it is guys the Fiutex Wimbel 2. The Wimbel 2 is a 3 axis gimbal come selfie stick for smartphones. Let me take it out and show you. So this is how it looks like. Holy smokes guys it looks beautiful. Love the matte black finishing. It's got a unique design and feels solid in my hand. We'll just come back to that again. First let me also show you the other stuff in the case. So in this small box you get a mini tripod. Now this is super handy. You can fix it to the gimbal using the quarter inch thread. And the quality of the tripod is also very good. It's made of high quality plastic. You've got rubber foot pads on all the legs and the Fiutek branding over here. Along with that you get a lanyard. Some paperwork which include user manual, a warranty card and a help guide. Just make sure to read them for all the info on the product. Three type of different cables which include micro USB, type C and lightning cable for charging your phones with the gimbal on the go while shooting. And a regular USB cable for charging the gimbal itself. So these are all the items we got in the package. Now let's finally check out the Fiutex Wimble 2. So the Wimble 2 is a very cheap and budget friendly 3 axis gimbal for smartphones. It's got an ergonomic design and the build quality also looks very good. It's made of high quality polycarbonate material and feels solid in my hand. The Wimble 2 weighs around 428 grams and as you can see it's got an angular design here. Also if you guys can observe there is not a single adjustment screw on it. The balancing technique is very simple on this gimbal. I'll show you that later in the video. First let me show you the control panel. You've got a status LED indicator here, a 4 way navigational joystick and below that you've got some buttons. This is a power slash multifunction button and a photo slash video record button. On the right side you've got a zoom slide switch so yes you also have zoom function on this gimbal. And on the other side there's a rubber flap under which you have a micro USB port for charging. And this is how the back side looks like. There's a trigger button here to instantly enter the lock mode and has this rubber padding at the back side to give you that nice grip when you hold it. The quality of the trigger button is also good. At the bottom side you've got this hole to fix the lanyard, a tiny buzzer and a quarter inch thread to fix it on some tripods or monopods. So that was about the control panel and the lower half of the gimbal. Now let's move to the upper part. Here we'll talk about the 3 axis motors and the phone holder. The build quality of the arms is good, they're made of polycarbonate and guys just look at the movements of these motors. They've got buttery smooth movements without any friction. The pan axis has a rotation range of 320 degrees, the roll axis has a range of 320 degrees and even the tilt axis has the same 320 degree range. Also love these CD like patterns that we got on both the roll and tilt axis motors. So as I've told you earlier the Wimble 2 doesn't have any adjustment screws. To keep the gimbal in balance you need to adjust this roll axis arm either inside or out just like this. And this is how the phone holder on it looks like. It supports both Android as well as iPhones. You've got rubber padding all over the inside so your phone is fully safe from scratches. And the holder has the spring type mechanism to fix your phone on it. I'll show you the installation procedure later in the video. Now on the gimbal there's a micro USB port here. You can use this to connect your smartphone to the gimbal for on the go charging. And this phone holder also supports shooting in both vertical as well as horizontal modes. All you need to do is just rotate this holder on the Wimble 2 to whichever orientation mode you want to shoot the video in. Very simple right? I really like the design and the controls on the Wimble 2. The company made it very user friendly. 
Now let me show you how to fix your phone on it and also the balancing process. Fixing your phone on it is super simple. You can do it alone, you don't need anybody's help. The mini tripod that you get free with it is very helpful. It's got a quarter inch thread so you can easily fix it to the gimbal just like this. So with this tripod you can now place the gimbal on any flat surface whenever you feel like taking a break. Plus it's also quite helpful during the installation process. Let me show you how to fix your phone on it. Before fixing, always make sure that the tilt axis motor is on your right side. Now just extend this clamp, place your phone there and leave it. That's it, you're done with mounting your phone. Now coming to the balancing part, balancing your phone is also very easy. You just need to extend this roll axis arm until your phone is in balance. And that's it guys, we've successfully balanced our gimbal. Now let's go out, power it on and show you all the different available modes on this gimbal. So here is the Fiutex Wimbl 2. The Wimbl 2 is a 3-axis gimbal for smartphones and has a total of 3 different modes on it. As soon as you power it on, it enters in the pan follow mode. In the pan follow mode, the gimbal follows your movements only in the pan axis direction with the roll and tilt axis being locked. As you can see, the phone doesn't move in tilt axis, but you can use that 4-way navigational joystick to control the movements in all the directions. The Wimbl 2 feels really comfortable while holding, it's got a good grip and it's also not that heavy, weighs only around 428 grams. The gimbal movements are also nice, you can get some really smooth pan and tilt shots, but I felt the motor torque was a bit less. Now by single pressing the mode button on the gimbal, you'll enter the lock mode. In this mode, the gimbal is locked in a particular position and doesn't move in any of the axes no matter what you do. Just check out this clip. Pretty awesome right? But you can still control the gimbal using the joystick. To go back to the previous mode, all you need to do is just click the mode button once. Now finally by double pressing the mode button, you can enter the follow mode. In this mode, the gimbal follows your movements in both the pan as well as the tilt axis. It's a really nice mode and I use it almost all the time on my gimbals. At the beginning of the video, I told you it comes with a special trigger button at the backside, right? When you press this trigger, no matter in which mode or which position you are in, the gimbal instantly locks in that position. And you can release it only by leaving the trigger button. By double pressing the trigger button, you can get back to the initial state of the gimbal. So those are all the different available modes on it. Now let me show you the selfie stick feature. You can simply pull the top part to extend the gimbal and even use it as a selfie stick. It can extend up to a range of 18 cm. Now this is the most amazing and unique feature about this gimbal. In this selfie stick mode, you're not only getting the advantage of this extended range, but you can also fully control your phone using the gimbal. You can tilt, pan, lock the position, change modes, and also has Bluetooth shutter control and zoom function. I was really impressed by these features. Now let's put the gimbal to a test and see how it performs. I fixed my Galaxy S9 Plus on the Wimble 2 and was walking casually in the park. As you can see, the footage looks really nice and smooth. There is very minimum shake in the video. It feels like the camera is just gliding in the air. The Fiutex Wimble 2 does a really good job in reducing the shake in the video. Now let's put it to some more intense testing. This time instead of walking, I'll be running with the gimbal. So let's see how it performs. That's nice. It was performing really well, but it's not the best gimbal I've seen in terms of stabilization. You can observe some slight micro shakes in the roll axis. But again, considering the price of this product, you can't complain much. The Wimble 2 offers a lot of features like extendable handle, zoom control, Bluetooth shutter, and using the vCool app, you can even shoot panoramas and time-lapse videos. The max payload of this gimbal is 210 grams, so you can use any smartphones on it within that weight. Coming to the battery life, the Wimble 2 has a built-in 600mAh battery and offers a continuous runtime of around 4.5 to 5 hours. But battery life is not an issue guys because you can even connect a power bank to it and keep on using continuously. Plus, the gimbal also supports charging your phone so you'll never run out of juice while shooting. And charging the gimbal from 0 to 100 took around 2.5 hours. So that was my review on this ultimate selfie stick come 3 axis smartphone gimbal from Fiutech. The build quality is nice, the comfort is good, the stabilization performance was decent and love that extendable telescopic arm. The only thing I felt is the battery life could have been a bit higher. The Wimble 2 costs around 5700 rupees and is one of the cheapest 3 axis gimbal in the market. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below, you can check it out there. 
So that was it for today. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you all liked it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.